Pass it up to Kate, who Ogden City is preparing for flooding with crews standing by 24 hours a day because of the conditions there. They're asking for the public to do its part to help. Let's send it up to ABC 4's Kate Gardner, who is in northern Utah, live from Ogden. Kate, uh, what are the worries that the city has right now? Yeah, Emily, I'm actually at Fort Benaventura Park here in Ogden, and it's closed to the public because they're worried about high dangerous river levels at Weber River. Now, you can't see it. Weber River is actually directly behind me, and you can't see it because of that berm that's been built. That berm is taller than six feet in some places. Now, they say, you, and you can see some standing water, they say there may be some minor flooding along the Weber River, but that's not actually what has the city worried. They're worried about new waterways that are being created along along the east bench. Now let's take a look at this video. This is the Douglas Trailhead, uh, but it looks more like a stream. It's a new stream that's now being diverted to a nearby storm drain by the city. Officials say high volumes of water and high volumes of snow melt are creating new waterways and potential for flooding in areas the city has never had to deal with before. Now the city has 2,000 sandbags filled already and ready to go, as well as 40,000 bags that are ready to be filled. The city's gonna offer those bags to people who are in active flood areas and officials are asking residents to call the non-emergency number you see here on the screen if they see running water where it normally wouldn't be. So crews can bring out sandbags and divert that water before it becomes a serious problem for homeowners. We have what we need um, and we have a plan in place so even though we're not giving them out it's there's for a reason. We've been down this road before when we needed it it wasn't there. Again, these are brand new waterways that are being created up on the East Bench because of all the snow melt. And they are just reminding people that if you do see that water that normally wouldn't be there, to call that non-emergency number. Now, if you live anywhere in Weber County, it's probably a good idea to save that number in your phone. Reporting live from Ogden, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.